my YouTube video and uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things on how to uh, start working on your book getting, you know editing them or editing it and <coughs> getting published as soon as possible I mean you don't have to rush it but you know if you want your book out there you can work on it and uh, get some something going so let's get started really quick and I don't want to waste much time and uh, now setting up the page right you should have a template now this template should have like the height and the, you know, the width and all that should be set up really fast or I mean should be very easy if you have Microsoft Word that should be really quick now let's look at the page layout all right you just click on the page layout and uh, you check the size if you click on size and you go down 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 and you have the more page or more paper sizes you click on that you set up your width and uh, that I set mine to 5.5 right here and you can set yours to whatever you want but you know what I recommend uh, setting that to 5.5 or 8.5 just that like I did leave it leave the margins to whatever it is that's what I do portray leave it portray the orientation of your page that should be cool and leave everything else as it is now, <clears throat> now after you do that most people run into problems like some format some printing companies or publishing companies require a certain way of doing things so make sure that you read the instructions right some require converting into PDF but you don't I mean they do it differently so make sure that you're doing the right thing and uh, I mean if you're doing a tra using a traditional publisher that would make a whole lot of difference because they will do it the way they want you don't have control over it sometimes they might even take all the copyright the, the, the ownership of your book and all that but that is not for uh, if you are doing a self-publishing like I did you don't need all that so you have to do it the way uh, you like it or you know the way they, they set up the instruction on, on their websites or tutorials on how to do it so let's say you have done all that right now you want to set up your uh, table of contents or something like that because you know most print copies need table of contents unless they are like novels or so some of them don't do it so again just read the, the instructions provided by the, uh, the publishing company and make sure that you are doing the right thing now when you want to set up the table of contents remember select the adding adding uh, icon up here right if you use that when and inserting your uh, your headings it will be very easy later on when you want when, when you are trying to insert the page or uh, the table of contents let's say now you want to do that and you have the reference button selected right here all right and you go to insert or table of contents right to the left here okay you click that and you select whatever you want okay you can select whichever you want and I mean whatever you like and if you do that as you can see it all popped up the table of contents in order see that I mean that is beautiful that is really fast enough so after you do that you are ready to um, to start you know typing your book which I hope you've already you know maybe thought about and you know broken down into chapters and all the pages that you want so I will I don't want to take much time doing this so if you've done all that okay you've, you've set up your page right there's one problem that we people really need to uh, to sort to, to work on if you are going to publish your book online I mean like on Kindle or uh, or even on print or in print make sure that you set up your margins you can see the margin use the ruler up here to set up the margins depending on the margin size you want that should not be a problem so you should set up that really fast to make it easy for you while typing later on and finally edit your book edit it and edit it and edit it as much as you can to avoid uh, really bad and mean comments from readers you don't want that to happen to you I mean ask me that okay I've read some of the reviews that you don't even want to you know you don't want to think about it. that will keep you up all night and I mean it. so let's say that uh, you're done doing that you publish your book just like I did can you believe that I mean come on man I did mine and this is my book right here 
and it is on Amazon right now. Look, my life sentences a true story. And so I just did what I just told you and I ended up having a book on Kindle. Look at the price, I just set it to $299 so that all people can afford it. You can also have your book in two formats. You can either have a print copy or a Kindle copy. Or I mean, it doesn't have to be Kindle, just digital copy. There are so many websites out there selling uh, Kindle books. So that is what you need to do. And if you have any questions, please post them on the comment section and I will try to answer them. Now, remember you can read this uh, book chapter for free. Just a chapter, of course. And wow, I guess I love all my viewers here. And then, so after you can read the, all, all the, you know, the chapter one, you can decide whether you want to buy it or not. And you know what? That's what people will do for your book too when it is out there. So I, I you know, I advise you to go ahead and uh, start working on your book. Don't wait. Every day you you lose a day. I mean, that you're losing a reader somewhere. You're losing people who could be reading your book right now. So please check out my book, and if you like it, let me know and everything will be fine so good luck with what you're doing right now if you're working on your book and that is the reason why you're watching this video I want to wish you the best you can do this I mean at least before the end of the world let there be something to remember you with okay so good luck and thank you so much